Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's Tuesday tip is a continuation of the MOR series that we have for the summer. Today we're going to talk about common findings. I'm going to give you three today. First of all, let's talk about the lease. As you know, the initial lease term is one year. It could be a year and a day, it could be a year and a week, but it has to be at least one year, 365 days. Days. Secondly, I've noticed when I've been out the last two months that we have a lot of paperwork that doesn't have signatures and dates. Make sure that the resident signs and dates and make sure that you as a manager sign and date. And thirdly, if you have a resident that's under 30 years of age and they are receiving Social Security benefits, not SSI, but straight out Social Security, they must have a disability. So do check for that and verify that there is a disability. Otherwise, Social Security will only send a check if you're 62 years of age and older without having a disability. And make sure you give them the $400 disability able allowance on the 5-9. Now, I have a favor I want to ask of you. I've had several calls from management companies and even talked to HUD. It seems that some of the residents are asking for or asking to put additional residents on their lease and they move out two weeks or a month after adding the resident. This is a way to get around the waiting list. If you're experiencing this or have experienced this, give me an email and let me know. That's vbell at navigatehousing.com. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you next week for another Tuesday tip.